Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show, where it is now time to talk about the biggest surprise in the EPL season thus far, and it is not a good one. It is the complete and total absolute disaster that has become Crystal Palace this season. I mean, my goodness. 22 games, 16 points, sitting in the drop zone with one of the most talented sides in the league, just a complete, a total catastrophe. I mean, how could this possibly happen? Losers of their last five out of six games in the Premier League. You know, just uh, absolutely dreadful. Most recently, a loss to Everton. Not a shocking result. But it's just the form keeps getting worse and worse, even after making a change. Now, I initially attributed... Crystal Palace's struggles to Alan Pardew, or as I would like to call him, Alan Pardudu, because, you know, he's just uh, a terrible manager. Let's face it, you know, everything he touches just falls by the wayside. You know, it seems whenever they go a goal down, they just tend to fold like a lawn chair. I don't know what it is, but Pardew is uh, a terrible manager, and he should not be in the Premier League uh, anymore, but we'll see what happens with him. In theory, the perfect man to replace him was big Sam Allardyce. We're talking about a man who has taken on a number of extremely difficult managerial jobs in the Premier League, but he's never, not once, been relegated. A very impressive feat when you look at his track record. However, big Sam got caught running a big sham on the English FA, and he paid the price. He lost his dream job, he was fired from the English national team, and you know, he was open and honest saying that was the low point of his career. And to go so quickly from that to your next job, it makes me wonder, did he really get over it? Did he even do what was necessary to move on before taking on this new daunting challenge? And I think the answer has to be based on his results thus far, a resounding no, absolutely not. He was not ready uh, for this job. You look at the results, four losses, one draw in the Premier League. No wins. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's been a terrible run of form. Big Sham has not done anything uh, to help matters. And it just, it boggles the mind how he goes out and complains publicly. Oh, we have to go to our alternative transfer targets. Transfer targets? Give me a break. You're one of the top ten most talented squads in the league. I mean... My goodness, Wilfried Zaha, yes, he's out on AFCON duty right now, and I'm sure that sucks for them, but he's still got, you know, guys like James MacArthur, Joe Ledley, who played a massive role in Wales' run in the Euro over the summer, Johan Kabai, set-piece wizard, 57 goals in his career, Loey Cocaine King Remy, yes, he loved the Coke, but he can still ball out, he's only three years removed from a 14-goal haul in the EPL, so they have the talent there, and they have... English international Andros Townsend, but most of all, most importantly, they have Christian Benteke, who has 10 goals so far this season in all competitions, yet, or interestingly enough, I should say, four more than any Crystal Palace player had all of last season, and yet his season at this point in time is considered a disappointment, and rightfully so, because a player of his caliber has no business going seven consecutive EPL games without scoring, which is exactly what he's done. So, you know, clearly they need to get him firing. Big Sam needs to build the attack around Benteke. Play the crosses, give him service, play the ball in the air, masterful header of the ball, or to his feet, he can finish. And you just have to do what it takes to put Benteke in goal-scoring situations. Aston Villa, the worst team in the Premier League, when Benteke was there, successfully avoided relegation because they made the attack revolve around him and they put him in a position to be successful, which helped the team uh, as a whole. So the blueprint is there for the Eagles to be successful. Of course, I'm not going to say that Benteke uh, not scoring goals is the only reason why Crystal Palace have been so dreadful. I mean, 16 points earned in 22 games, obviously the defense is not up to snuff. Uh, Captain Scott Dan has been uh, well documented with his uh, performances being off form 
what he's used to, a much higher standard of quality, not even in the running anymore for that uh, so treasured uh, England call-up. So, you know, the goals are there. Like I said, Benteke, two years in a row, was a top 10 goal scorer in the EPL, 28 goals in two years. Uh, Remy had a 14-goal season before. And, uh, you know, they have guys who can put the ball in the back of the net. They have to shore up the defense. They have to get it together. Uh, but Crystal Palace fans, I would love your take. Please weigh in. Tell me why this season has been such a disaster and what it's going to take to make things right. So thank you all so much for tuning in. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel.